Right, talented tall Mitch Clark is back home. After six seasons with the Brisbane Lions, Clark is keen to continue his AFL career at the Ross Lion coached Fremantle Dockers. The question now, who do the Dockers use as trade bait? Back home and hoping to make it permanent, Mitch Clark's decision to leave Brisbane far from spur of the moment. Personally, I wanted to come back to Perth and um, real, real close with my family and just want to be around with my family. I sort of voiced that last year. Um, probably left it a bit too late in the trade period. Clark completing his final year of his Brisbane contract and is now relying on the Lions playing fair during trade period. Obviously they have to look after themselves as well. Um, Brisbane's been great to me, given me six years and gave me a chance. Frio enthusiastic suitors, the Dockers desperate for another quality tall. If you have a look at most ruckmen now, if you're playing two um, they've got to be able to play in different positions other than just in the ruck. They've got to be able to play forward. But trading for Clark will force some tough decisions. The Lions keen on both a pick and a player in return. Frio big Zach Clark believed to be off limits. Me leaving Brisbane is more personal reasons and um, yeah, hopefully we can come to an agreement and get something done for, for both of us. Clark leaving the wheeling and dealing to clubs and his management, but a Frio contract would be the ideal outcome. Yeah, definitely. They've got an exciting list at the moment and um, they're probably in that period of uh, chasing a premiership. So, um, you know, if, if, it, if it all worked out, hopefully maybe I could add to that. West Coast unlikely to dip their toe in the water, while Greater Western Sydney did their best to entice him south, believed to have thrown massive money his way. You know, I never really met with GWS or anything like that. Home is where the heart is. This 82-game rising star with his fingers crossed. He gets his wish to stay in the West. Lockie Reed, 10 News.